All right, so here we go. We're on part two now of migrating from Comic Press to Comic Easel. We last left off where we made sure that all the categories for all the comics were in a single category. Uh, that way, when we do our transfer migration from uh, Comic Press categories to uh, Comic Easel chapters, it's a single push. You know, it does one chapter at a time. And there will be no complaints with the uh, with the migrator plugin to be able to figure out what what is in what chapter. Uh, next thing we want to do is we want to make sure that when we do migrate, that we keep the look of your comic press site. Now it's not going to be an exact look, but it's going to be pretty darn close. Now the problem that we have with uh, Evan 07, it's not really a problem. But it's the fact that he uses the straight comic press theme without a child theme. Now, the good thing is that his entire site is done in Companion. Uh, Companion is a plugin that lets you override CSS elements just like a child theme would. So it's basically pretty much almost the same thing. It, it, over, it makes your site look the way that you want it to. Um, keeping that in mind, it's pretty much going to be almost just as easy. The good thing is, is all his images are in a central location that is not inside of the Comic Press theme directory. If your Comic Press theme that you currently have has all of the edits, modifications, and custom code inside of it, inside of the theme, you will more than likely lose it when you upgrade or change themes. So it's best to have a child theme or use Companion to redesign or modify your site. Uh, but what we're looking forward to do now is we're looking forward to um, keeping the consistency of your current site when you uh, migrate over to Comic Easel and with the Easel theme. Uh, so we need to take some notes on stuff. We now know that the, the code for the site is inside of Companion, which is okay, but we also need to know things like the widgets. What we need to do is we're going to grab a piece of paper and a pencil, and what you're going to do is you're going to go through each of the sidebars and take note of what is in each side of each one. So starting with the left sidebar here, we know that this is the widgets inside of there. We write it down. Image Jetbike, lots of is, buy our books, whatever this is. We write it down. It's uh, Context Web Tag Publishing. Um, security Clearance. Then we go off and record what's in the right sidebar. Da, da 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 Write this down. Write this down. What is this? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna write that down. Why is that? Cool, cool. Um, then we go through each one. The above header has the menu bar and the above header. Got to remember that. Header is empty. Menu bar has thumbnail, text, and text. So we that's the thumbnail you see on the front page. Uh, Comic Easel has a, a, a compatible one that, that acts just the same. Um, text, got a div there. Got some images displaying there. Then the sidebars for over comic, nothing left to comic, nothing right of comic, nothing under comic should be the comic navigation. And he has it first unchecked, writing that down. And archives link and comments link. Now the uh, what's cool about Comic Easel, it pretty much mimics exactly how Comic Press uses their uh, navigation. So it won't be too difficult to mimic the style. Uh, over blog, nothing. Blog, under blog, under blog has something. Under blog has an empty text box. No idea why. And the footer has nothing. So this is pretty easy. So now that we've written down everything that's in the sidebars, because what's going to happen is whenever you change themes in WordPress, uh, what's inside of the sidebars gets thrown into the inactive widgets area. So it's important to remember where all that stuff is, but you don't lose it. It just gets tossed into the inactive widgets area. So you can go ahead and when you when you uh, migrate and switch themes, you can drag everything back to where where you want it to go. Just just like such. That means they're still there. You won't lose them. Good thing. 
All right. Then we're going to go over here and we're going to go to plugins and check all of her, all of the plugins that you have. And Akismet, Avatars. It's not really totally needed, but cool enough. Countdown Clock, Easy File Shop, Google Analytics. All of this stuff will retain. You're, you're not switching your database. You're not switching. Um, you, you're not losing anything that you currently have on in your database. So all of this stuff is still valid and very, you know, you, you won't lose it. Um, when we do end up getting to the point of migrating your your uh, your categories into chapters for Comic Easel, um, all of this stuff is still going to be okay. However, it's best to have all of this stuff deactivated. Um, everything but like uh, Comic Easel and the plugin Comic press manager you can leave on and the uh, cp2ce migrator you can leave on but all of this stuff takes memory so what we're, we need to do is we're going to deactivate it at the time that we're going to do the migration just so that you guys remember that but the important thing is to keep note of what you have active what you don't have active in there as well so in part two, we're basically what we're doing is we're taking note of all the settings and everything that you have. Um, now with comic e uh, with easel the the theme, it's not exactly the same options available as the comic press options. So uh, you want to do your best to write down things that are consistent throughout, like. Um, your website, your website layout, the three column, you you know, you record that. There's a whole bunch of these that are available, but then some are not. Um, some are done in child themes. Uh, he's got default post navigation turned off. That's compatible. We got it. Yeah. We want to take note of this. This is the copyright name. Um, because you're changing themes this this comic press options are all going to go away so you need to find stuff that's compatible with um that's comparably put inside of the easel theme one of the thing is a copyright name so you want to make sure that this copyright name is written down somewhere too because you'll have to put it inside of the easel theme home page looking at the options here he disables a comic and a blog and comic on the home page got to remember that Posts and pages, archives and templates. He wants full content in the uh, post display in the archives. Um, we have that ability in ESOL as well. Uh, display orders, newest, oldest. We have that as well in e in ESOL. Um, menu bar. He pretty much has the RS link in uh, the default menu bar enabled. Add-ons. And nothing in debug that we need. Okay, so we got everything written down that we need to be able to take our current site and migrate it to um, ESL. Now, ESL and Comic Press are pretty much very identical. Um, ESL is actually uh, upgraded version of Comic Press, cleaned up, code cleaned up, all of that stuff. Um, but it, ESL does not have any comic code inside of the theme itself. Um, which makes it much faster loading for ESOL and, and um, by itself because it doesn't have to uh, read off and parse that that um, that comic code that's inside of it. Everything that's handled with Comic ESOL is handled with inside of the plugin. Um, all right, that's all we needed to look at for this. Part two, next step after part two, is we're going to load the plugins necessary for Comic Easel. See you then.